this episode, we defend, we attack, we run, we give away 9,000 points. Now, this is five minutes after I put bullets in these guns. This guy turned up on a manor. He ran around for no apparent reason. I'm assuming testing my bullet range. Now, I think at this point I may have like a hundred bullets there. This is obviously in the past. Now, he gives me a little bit of good stuff. Now this mana thing, you judge where my mistake is. Yeah, not my finest. Now, he tries to soak a few bullets in the manor. I'm guessing it doesn't go well. Because he quickly gets it out of there. Now, this is just after my last episode, so this is the best stuff I got after that. Most of the loot I actually end up with is the guys, because he keeps coming back. Now he's trying to blow up my base from up top. Dropping rockets on my head. So I pull out my, well, not my own rocket. <laughs> One I pinched off his body and start firing rockets back. It's only fair. Now, I'm not sure whether any of them actually got close to him, but they certainly scared him. I grapple up to have a look at what's going on. And. He's got a bloodstalker. I was like, rocket time. First one's well short. So I aim higher. I think this one gets fairly close because he pulls it back from the edge. And I'm looking around for him. And then I've had him. Assuming I'm shooting him, not the Bloodstalker, because I don't know the bullets would have done that much damage to it, so he wouldn't have ran. I'm tired of chasing him around with my pistol, so I pull out my rocket. Yes, rockets go very slowly, but he's got to be very scared at the moment, because he didn't expect me to fight with a rocket. Now, I'm tired of shooting rockets, I'm running out of rockets. And start going Old West style. So shooting, he's trying to melee. Not really doing much damage. Break my hair, my hat, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> my head bucket. Now, I'm not exactly sure what his plan is. Yeah. Seems to just be running around. Now I pretend to run. He actually chased me, and I get it. Now I don't know what he's got Bloodstalker on, but I choose to kill it from distance. And then, what does he have on him? Ooh, very nice. This is just very pleasant. I hate two dogs. Then, after we couldn't upgrade our heavies that day, because the server had a bit of an issue with the levels, I went out and turned to Megatherium the next day to get level 100 to get heavies. Because obviously, heavies are better. And some say heavies are better than tech for the certain reasons. That's just one of the bags. I got three, four bags of that and just left most of the stuff in the cave. Now, I forget how to use K mode properly. And we just go back and forth, back and forth. Then I remember. The 
Megatherium was a level 100 when I tamed it. This is a red drop inside the cave. And yeah, you risk your life for that. I'm hoping that they alter the thing in Arc 2 because it's just silly. And we get our first couple of heavies. And this is us looking for bases. Dragon riding. Yes, I'm on a jeez, because I found one. No, I didn't back away the wyvern. I landed for air, and this thing shot me. Very rude, I know. Now, I'm doing this to test whether they're offline protected. They're not. I found a couple that were offline protected. If you fly on the borders in Valgero, you'll find one that brags about being established since December 15th. Now, in my defense, I'm thinking this is going to get closer than it does. Now, obviously, no. the trigger and it blows up in my face I'm thinking it's gonna get to at least near the wall the rocks but no, instantly destroyed in my face now I'm low health I'm umming and ahhing whether I shoot another one because I have lost most of my gear and we gotta change it over and then looking for a nice easier approach the homeowner came out and started shooting and rudely enough they then start taking pot shots at the orgy and yes I'm not the greatest PvP -er. and the long neck isn't exactly a sniper rifle it shakes and then I'm not a good shot so put two and two together I went and got the RG some food to heal up because it was doing a bit of damage. And then I attempt to do this and I don't know where they ended up. Try to pick them. I'm pretty sure they probably ran the opposite way. But then we try to snipe them. So yeah, we tried to pick them but totally missed. And then, yeah, they're keeping in front of their turret, so I have to keep back. And then they keep potch on the RG, so I have to keep the RG safe, but I can't be too far away because there's Rexes and Aloes. It's not exactly awesome for me. Now, this, this becomes awkward. I'm not sure whether they knew I was there or not, but we are both looking for the other person and trying to stay very very quiet as you can see that's a turret formation they got stone foundations too that's why i was hoping for a bit of damage just wherever the rockets blew up not in my face now we are literally sneaking away with an rg And then this is, I reckon, quite interesting technique. I need to stay below those turrets, pick them, and then take off. It's not exactly easy, and at the moment they haven't turned the turrets up. They turn the turrets up to high, and then, yeah, the RG gets peppered way more. Trying to time it because of the bullets that and miss. And yeah, they turn the stuff up to a bit higher. Embarrassing. And then we're trying to PvP and we hear the rain. And 
then the Rex didn't come out. And then a Raptor tries to eat us. And you can see the bullet flying past my head. Someone is trying to shoot me as well. So I had to deal with the Raptor on top of again trying to be sniped. And then they pull out the Rex. And I'm out of there. Not for good, but I ain't getting bit by the Rex. I'm not sure what, uh, 184. So, probably all in the melee and health. It's probably a defense Rex. And yeah, we run, they eat my RG. And yeah, I'm trying to snipe the person. I obviously miss. I'm not an awesome shot with the long neck. Now, I come back after that, and they're flying away. Now, my RG didn't have anything on it, so I'm not sure what they were flying away. It was just after midnight, so possibly going after Raptor Claws. And then the thing was having a bit of an issue. And yeah, it turned into a bit of PvP. This fight took almost an hour. With the standoff, the sniping, the chasing, the running. Both sides were running, hiding, trying to come up with different plans. They actually don't know where I am. I'm hiding in that bush and they think I'm over there. I do miss my opportunity of fire though. Now, I'm looking, looking, and they start throwing gas. This person really likes their grenades, because it's not the first time, uh, last time that they do that. Then they had the goal to start building during our PvP. It's like, really? How dare you? You don't build during PvP. Send out a Mantis, probably the one you get in a, the pack when you play, and yeah. I thought it very, very rude. Now there's no grenades at me. I'm not sure how none of these are doing any damage. Well, that one, they were clearly gone. But yeah, some of them were quite close. We actually don't die yet. We're good enough health and kitted out for a bit of healing. And yeah, start a build again. So that's gotta go. And then they put down a turret. Right in the front where I'm not even sure that they got power. Maybe they got a tech gen from doing the road to Alpha, but yeah, that was well out of range of most generators. Because you have to have a power line down. And then send the parasaur out me and get some sort of one snipe on me. But, fair play, I respawned. And they're throwing all my stuff out. How rude. And the parasaur. They must have been running out of dinos. Send that parasaur out of me is a bit weird. And then we just take not bad stuff, considering we died. And I can't take that off my dead body. I have no idea why. Then the parasol is just being annoying. And we forget how to use K mode. And yeah. I'm just sucking the bullets. They come out with my shotgun. No pants. So, I think we must have both been low on stuff. So, fair play, but. It was fun ass. Now these people try to come off and I get one of them. That person I just killed knew exactly where I was on a manor when I was hiding where my body ended up dead. But I was hiding on the island bit under some grass. And yeah, knew exactly where I was and I was completely hidden. And he ain't wearing tech or nothing. So, I'm not sure how they knew exactly where I was. Now this one ran in, tried, 
transfer all the time trying to get off the island. Unfortunately, he ran into my sniper rifle. I told him to meet me up at Red Op and I'll give him stuff and someone jumped us and then I said meet up again and I thought that was the other guy. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I really didn't expect it. But I did end up meeting up and then running away from Red Ob because the guy was hanging around looking for easy targets because he was a tough guy like that. And then get a lava golem pump, sniper, marine. I end up getting a couple of dinos. And then scroll down. I'm thinking what could you use? Just general. I'm not thinking, oh, you could do this, do that. A managama. And I'm looking, looking. Obviously, thousand points. What can I... An auto for artifacts. Would he really go for it? And I decide to finish up with a raptor as well. And then I just try to figure out how to get up because I couldn't get up. I think at the weight, so yeah. I throw out the stake and all of a sudden I can get up. So yeah, go figure. So yeah, I just throw it all out. They don't actually take everything. They take what they want, but leave the sniper rifle and a bunch of flak and other stuff. Then I see this person mining around. What do you think I do? I got all that on me. I'm super heavy. I can't run. They come at me. I'm dead. Because unless I shoot them in the head, they're dead. And then this person is so oblivious. I'm assuming they didn't see me with a whistle because they don't change their behavior. Now I'm trying to place the storage box in front. So when they come out of that menu, all of a sudden there's a storage box. Now I'm thinking, are they actually going to die to a dino? Nope. I pick it off. And then, yeah. There's no way they knew where I was because why would you just drop down looking around? Now I'm sneaking up on the person. Yeah, this person was pretty oblivious for where they are. They're near Red Orb. A lot of people are near Red Orb. And yeah, they start running because obviously I got a big gun. But I dropped my whole inventory. It takes them a while to understand what I'm doing. They start mimicking. I say in chat that they can have it. They obviously thank me. And that is the season.